Oh, we're jumping down. Oh! Oh, Nightingale's tracks! What? There's Nightingale's tracks! Should I be investigating the way it came from or the way it's going to? Oh, I want to go back. I want to go home. Oh my god. Okay. Might as well. I need to figure out where Nightingale went. Oh, maybe we're like advanced figuring it out if I go this way. Mm, I might want to go back to the murder site first. Just in case. Okay, so my understanding is that there is a semi-open world component to this, so I don't have to hurry and try to do everything all at once. Yeah, so you know what? I see the footprints. I'm gonna go back and tell Casey about it first because that doesn't seem quite like normal. There's a time- Casey! You look for any further clues here, and I'll check the rest of the area. If you see anything, radio me. Got it. Right, I mean, I see the footprints here already. Yeah, yeah, let's go back to the murder site. Hey, 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 hey. Fancy meeting you here. Our crime scene is drowning. I never mind it rain. Feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Might have found it already. Look at that though. Triangle. They had a lot of time to do all this stuff. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good eye. I'll do the clues in the mine place later. I'm a bit on edge right now. So there's apparently some points of interest inside the general store. Can we get in? That's what the red represents, right? We cannot get in. Casey? Monsters, overlaps, rituals. What do you make of all of this? Mm -hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. I think when we saw Nightingale, there were maybe, what, five people here? The killers? But the group, the cult as a whole, is it 50 people or is it 5 people? That part makes a big difference. After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. <laughs> you know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Light like that. Probably want to check out the station first before we go to the footprints. But even before then, yeah, I think they just want me to look at the footprints to continue on. I'm going to go wrap around and see if we can check out the general store. At all? Yeah, we're just in the red area. It's this? Huh. I don't think this is where the door is, though. The door is on the other side. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna go check out the field office and then come back and check out the um, door side of the general store. I believe it's this way. Am I wrong? I may be wrong. Authorized personnel only, FBC... FBC?! FBC Security Perimeter? Oh! Federal Bureau of Control. Are here. Uh. 
Oh, fantastic. Nice talking to you, too. Lake House, Federal Bureau of Control Research Department Laboratory, authorized personnel only. It won't even come back. Okay. Ooh. They still have an office here. FPC buzzer. Okay. We just turn turn right back. There should have been a gap. In the fences somewhere. We're good, we're good. Oh, it, it's definitely gotten darker. Oh, here it is. We, we've been here before, so don't... Let's not freak out. This is the way we took the shortcut. Back to the parking lot and all that. Damn, though, the rain really follows us wherever we go, huh? Oh, this, this looks much better. Yeah. Oh, this is the office. Wait. FBC! Oh, I was thinking FBI the whole time. I was like, okay, that's just our office. No. What are you folks doing? Oh, the brothers? Hello. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? Ignore him. Oh. <laughs> How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's sauna, sauna da vista. <laughs> <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours. Hunting, I've seen your commercials. Fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. Thanks, good to know. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> what? Looks Nordic. A bit <laughs> family member made it. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalanpiirka. <laughs> Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Hmm. Okay, well, if we've played Control, then we know that the Federal Bureau of Control is not just a research thing, not just a volcanic and ash levels monitoring station. Steven, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. That's all for now. And raccoons usually come in multiples too, don't they? It feels a little bit surreal to be able to see an FPC station. Just something that shouldn't be here. Raccoons, my ass. Because back in Control, the building that we were in, it was in New York, right? Something like that. They made an explicit mention to say that you can't look for it. You can't really perceive it unless if you're meant to. But out in the wild, we just see these stations. There's another lunchbox. He's still trying to sell him on the, the ad stuff. <laughs> We're all in this together, hero. Have a heroic day. 
Hero. I hope I'm a hero. Lots of these pages around here. Station 11. I wonder which has higher levels of jurisdiction, FBI or FBC? Like, would I be able to say, Steven, do this thing for me? And would he, would he listen to me? I get the impression, no. Maintenance note. Clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours. I fixed it, so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigations department. Leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix this thing. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may want to put more secure metal casing around the whole thing, so that the raccoons can't get to it anymore. <laughs> raccoons. Stephen Lin, Chief Technician. Confidential. He's just leaving it here. Fancy looking equipment. Well, I'm glad I came back to check on this. Keeping in mind that I haven't- I don't think I've checked all the nooks and crannies over here, as well as the back portion. Keep it in mind, and then we'll come back to it, especially since the rental cabins haven't been opened yet. Okay, let's go back to the murder site and start following the footprints, maybe? Oh, there's a little path this way, too. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. <laughs> We've already been to the murder site. Hey, it stopped raining again. Because I got away, do you think? And then if I get closer again, it's going to start raining again. That wouldn't be very nice. Yo, dude. That really is how it works? Oh, man. Yeah, there's some trees here. Casey? Shut up, crows. While we're standing next to Casey, I want to do some... Let's see. Follow Nightingale's trail, look around the crime scene. Have I not finished looking around the crime scene yet? No, because of the footprints. Don't be scary. Bare feet. Nightingale. Mm hmm They're not normal. Look, the way they disintegrate like that. Let's do a quick thingy on our case board then. We've got some updates. Footprints leading into the forest. These footprints weren't here before. Nightingale came this way. I'm on the right trail. Alex Casey lunchboxes. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Right, they're using these lunchboxes, especially because the name, because it's Alan Wake's book. So it makes sense that it's related to the, to the cult. I found a strange lunchbox. Who left this here? I should keep an eye out for others. Bright Falls area. Lunchbox by the FBC monitoring station. Now this one is... <clears throat> The Cauldron Lake area. These are all Cauldron Lake. Yeah, there were some notes, the notes that we read already. The note inside mentions Alan. Alan Wake? What the hell are these? Cult of the Tree. Triangle carving on the table where Nightingale was found. Cult symbols. Yeah, yeah. Triangle figure is made from twigs. That's it for now. Okay, Casey, you stay here and I will have a look around the place. Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, I was gonna circle around the other side of the general store. Can we from here? We'd have to go back this way. I mean, the footprints are still going in this direction. Not here, though. Oh, that's a... That's a light post. That's reassuring. Can we get some saving going on here? Is, is that how this works? Beautiful bright light. 
Here we go. It's all empty. It's not a general store still in operation for sure. People ransacking this place. So that kind of gives me the impression that even the hiking trails aren't really commonly used anymore. Because the general store isn't around, it has no business. No. Hmm, I can't look at that. Does that prove that people were here? Beer, they were playing poker... All that. Another door. Monday, September 3rd. Yeah, I think it is uh, Deer Fest is in September. Some suspicious activity spotted. The fielder thought he saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but some were compromised by the fielder. Note to self, train the fielder. Next day. Nothing to report. Some animals, regular. Next day. Hunters out after dark. Poachers? Heard some gunshots. Not one of ours. Gotta keep an eye on these people. They could get more than they bargained for out there. This is the same journal that we saw before? The same person? The writing is the same. Did I miss the point of interest? Is it right? Is it like right here? It looks like I should be staring right at it. There's a safe. Well, somebody was living here. Other than that, though, I don't see a particular... Um, that's weird. It looks like I'm staring right at it. Hey, uh, Logan's birthday is coming up. I, I need toy ideas. Toys. <laughs> She's 14, KC. Oh. Okay. So, what do I get her? Get her a book. Something weird and dark. Maybe that'll get it back into reading. Okay, I don't... I, I just don't see what the point of interest is right now. Maybe we need something else first. We'll come back here for the locked door eventually anyway, so let's just move back on to the footprints for now. Logan's 14? The picture we had of her in the mine place didn't seem 14 at all. Which... I mean, thinking about how supposedly my daughter drowned and all that. Which is ladle, which is hot. Let's go. Why are we going alone? Who knows? Right, we were here earlier. The tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? Backward. Oh! I can feel something. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. I don't know if I should do this right now. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop. Caldera Street Station. The threshold. Like a doorway. Leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree. Which is Ladle? When Nightingale walked past the path from the lake to where he got killed, the tree was open. And now it's not.
I don't know where I'm going. Oh, we walked all the way back here. It's so flooded, I don't even recognize it. The tree. What is that? Seems like it's reacting to the light. <sighs> if you say so. That's normal. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. Casey? You can toggle flashlight boost to increase damage to darkness and burn through dark substance. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. Let's check out the full page. The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, another manuscript page. I'm okay. I'm all right. So we found a page. Now we have to locate the witch's hut. Oh, which we already have earlier. Yes. Oh, this is another way. I'm... It's hard to recognize things because... Yeah, overlap. Have we walked this particular... No, I don't think it's even walkable. The flooding makes the paths really unclear. Am I even wearing boots for this? Stuff, please give me stuff. Thank you, thank you. Which finder station? Doesn't seem like we'll be able to go there for now. Back to the witch's hut then. This is the witch's hut. Mm hmm. The page described the hut being lit and mentioned a fuse. Fuse would be outside. Oh. Another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. Why are we not together? The fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. Locate a fuse in the immediate area. Stop, please. I am begging you. Maybe it was an oh. This fuse is busted. Oh. Was there a fuse around here? This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. This doesn't seem like littering. Is someone... This is someone's station. I'm not sure it's litter. Can we still look at this? Oh, okay. Get the lights working. The lights will protect us. It'll be all fine and dandy. Get inside. 
We're safe. Thermos! Ah. Oh. Never have I been so glad to... Oh. Oh, wow, okay. Quick save. Have a cup of coffee. Manual. What did I just do? I pressed the... Oops. I think I might have used a battery pack or something accidentally. Oh, I think I did. I pressed Q. They didn't even teach me that yet. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Manual save. Thank you. Thank you. Another page. Oh lord. Making progress. I'm just wasting my battery pack, unfortunately. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Ew. Do you have the heart with you, Saga? Witch's ladle. Towering over Saga. Watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. The words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. <sighs> Interpret the page's meaning. Mm, we have to do it in the... Um... Case board, probably. Large amount of supplies laid out on a table. Who is involved? No? What kind of cult? Is it part of the ritual? Large amount of supplies. It's just related to how many people are here, right? Psychology. This is a lot of equipment just to lay, have laying around. How long have they been out here? <laughs> Where did Nightingale go? Damn, they just did it for me automatically. Nightingale is inside an overlap. Witch's ladle's tree is a doorway. Ritual required. The page was covered in a substance that my flashlight burned away. It mentions a witch's hut. Witch's hut? Bright light provides protection. Keep an eye out for more places like this. Yes. The fuse. Is this implying like and affect reality? Nightingale was chased off by my flashlight. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. What is a ritual? Found a page talking about a ritual at Witch's Ladle. Is this how Nightingale got past the rock? Is that the entrance to the overlap? Ugh. No, no, no. Over here. Words on the heart. Looks like those words tattooed on the heart are part of the ritual. How do they even tattoo it? That's scary. <sighs> Towering over Saga, watching her in the Witch, Nightingale's heart. This is the ritual. To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? The whole person disappeared, so I feel like we... <laughs> we didn't have time to think about the heart specifically. Where would the heart be? I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The cultist leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Wow. 
they played cards in the general store. Oh. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. But it's locked. We were just there. Huh, I guess I didn't need to go out of my way after all, because they will eventually make me go to those places anyway. Did we not just get a... Evidence piece? Alright. I need to check the general store for the heart. Casey! I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Uh, roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. Damn. <laughs> I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Now that we have this safe house, bad things are going to start happening. Yeah, this means that even if we use the map, it's not safe. Yeah. Okay, just straight down, pretty much. We came from that way. Don't. <laughs> I'm okay. Did you see that just now? It felt like there was some... There was something. Okay. We're good, we're good? Okay. Don't touch me. I swear. We don't have the key though. We've already Christ. <laughs> Guess we don't need a key. Oh Jesus! Fuck! Fuck! Right. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Occultist. A monster. Like Nightingale. Painkillers control. Quick to consume, but grant a smaller health benefit. Quick to consume as opposed to what, though? Yo, we... Our bullets kind of shredded him. Oh, that was terrible. The fact that they... I was like, ah, the deer, and then that. <laughs> Do you want me to use the painkillers? What's the alternative? Trauma pad? Oh, I guess I should just use a trauma pad, because I don't even have full health right now. You know. Oh, we have to bind it to a slot and then use it. That's how that works. Okay, then we should probably... Let's bind this to... something like that. Because I'm assuming we can do... Right, okay, good. Mm hmm My batteries are going too. Oh yeah, there's a heart. Alright, hold up. Cauldron Lake Overlap. Witch's Ladle. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong Towering one. Towering over Saga. Watching her and the witch. The image of- The one that we just picked up is Saga at the General's door? Saga edged toward the broken door. Her gun ready. Flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General store was overgrown. Left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here. Waiting planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store, like it was just another late-night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. 
Saga found herself face to face with a cultist, a hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night, wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask, an axe in his raised hand. Weirdly enough, it's listed under Return 1, even though we're on Return 2 right now. Maybe we could have gotten this one earlier. We couldn't have though, the door just broke. Oh. Oh sweet, thanks. Inventory space. Guns. Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. There's a three digit code, we probably need that. Lady Fortuna. Trauma pad? So that's probably something we also want to equip. I'll put it on... 4-4? Four, four. A little bit more deliberate. <sighs> that guy took a lot of bullets. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hmm, nice and frozen. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. The wave crash on the far side of the mirror. Do you want to take it? Far side of the mirror. Murder at Cauldron Lake. The words are legible now. Yes. Sounds literary. But what does it mean? The wave crash on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart, which show me the terror. Yeah, I think I walked by an abandoned general store near the murder site. Mm-hmm. We found it already. How is this possible? Did the page do this? Make the words on the heart clearer? By the way, I gotta say, even though it's, it hasn't been that long since we've been here, the way we switch from the real world to the mind palace to fiddling with everything on the case board feels really intuitive. I love it. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Why can't we just break this and get in there? Let's check in with Lady Fortuna by the counter. Now maybe that's what the point of interest is. Yes, here we go. Don't forget, update code. 705-713-717-723. Oh, Lady Fortuna is in the lottery. Madame Agniska. Palm reading and crystal ball gazing. Interpreter of dreams. Um, that could also be something like fortune telling, Lady Fortuna, but the phone number... Well, there's a whole bunch of numbers. We need a three-digit code. There's a bunch of three-digit codes here. They're all sevens. There's a 723 here. Zero five. Oh. Ah, ah, they added a seven to the beginning of every pair of code. Seven oh five. Seven one three. Seven one seven. Seven twenty three. So the updated code should be seven thirty nine. Let's give it a go. Seven... That's, you know, this is good security. They don't directly write down the code. Probably better than most I've seen. Although I, I do feel like we could have just elbowed this and probably broken the case open. Here we go, now we're in business. Yes, quick slot this. Sawed off shotgun, break action shotgun, wide pellet spread makes it most effective at close range. No, oh, no, 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 no. No, oh, no, 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 I want you to quick slot this into two. I've only got six bullets for it though. It's this kind. Well, it'll have to do. It'll have to do. 
Do I need to... Do any K-Sports stuff while we're here? Heart was left in a refrigerator. Where is the heart? Found the heart in the fridge. Just like the page said I would. Now we just gotta bring it to the... The witch's ladle sign cutout and put it in the hole. Yeah, makes total sense. Now back in Alan Wake 1, the witch in question, Barbara, Thomas Zane took out her heart, right? So definitely there are some callbacks here, although Saga herself wouldn't know too much about it. Oh wow, look at that. The triangle symbol again. So the points of interest... Yeah, they're all gone now. Oh, that must be a bug. <laughs> Well, no time like the present. Let's get going. Don't want to stay here for longer than I have to. You know, it's actually still daytime-ish right now. Ish. You can see the hut in the distance with the light poking through. I appreciate that. Lit up now. Good. Oh dear. Oh, I still have to do it. Got the heart, but I'm never gonna get used to this. Probably should have started using a shotgun there. Yikes, my my batteries are gonna go out pretty fast if I keep using it at this rate. I've got two more batteries left, but the, do the packs fill up the entire meter, or...? They seem to go in segments now, if you look at the bottom. There's four segments to the battery meter. <sighs> okay. Shit. Can't talk now. The lake wasn't a lake, the guy says. How did you know? Have you been reading Alan's writings? the damn thing in. Heart removed by the cultists. The text says, the wave crash on the far side of the mirror. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart witch. Show me the terror. You sure you don't want to tell Casey about this? I guess not. Mm. Casey. Oh. I think I'm in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey. Casey, do you read me? Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. The tree closed. Oh, I don't think we're, we have a known spot right now. Be ready to get that shotgun out whenever. Surprisingly, the place looks semi-normal. Except for that.
Logan? Mom, help. Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. I'm glad she brought that up, because I was immediately thinking, why did you think Logan's right here? Okay. Logan's voice was that way. I'm gonna check this side. We don't have to do what the voice tells us. Oh god. Why are you saving? Would you please help me? What was that? Alan? Wait. Did I get turned around? Oh, we're back at the beginning. No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. Right, we saw this sign. Mm, I went that way. They don't want me to go that way. They want me to go this way. There goes my battery packs. Oh, they automatically refill. Need to find Nightingale. So I really wasted a full pack earlier than accidentally. Damn it. Nightingale enters the lake. The writer went into the lake, banished the dark presence. Taken still lurked in the woods. The dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside, into the lake. Nightingale was there, one of them. The dark presence, Jagger had taken him. The Barbara witch had Jagger. stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves. The dark place, wandering in the shadows, muttering to themselves. It's dark. I'm lost. Where am I? Who am I? I can't remember. It's cold. Premium cabins for rent in Bright Falls. Who said that? Can you hear me? I need help. Please. Stop this. What did I do? You must dig it out. Their shape shifted. Echoes of the writer's dreams, fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that, the writer was writing again. I guess we should prepare to see Nightingale again soon. Oh. Got a little bit stuck on that branch. Let's not stay here longer than we have to. It's so easy to get turned around here. <laughs> Alan Wake? Nightingale? A hello to you too. He's here. Nightingale. It looks like if we expose the heart and then shoot the heart, that's what causes the shredding on the body, and it does the most damage. So shoot the light at it, expose the heart, and let it rip. Who is that? It's like they're coming in over a bad signal. Saga doesn't know about Alan Wake. Like, you know, Alex Casey might know what Alan Wake looks like because he's, he's seen 
He's googled it maybe, but Saga doesn't seem to be familiar with his writings before. Ooh, that's in a different orientation. Nightingale's badge. Lots of stuff. Thank you. What is that? Badge. You don't want to look at the badge? Of all the things? I guess not. That was shotgun ammo. <laughs> They're giving me stuff. That's not a good sign. <laughs> all right. Is this where Nightingale was stuck for? For 13 years? Clicker was the childhood item that Alan's dad gave him to ward off the darkness. And it's not like an actual powerful thing, it was just like a light switch. The sequences are clearer if I turn off the flashlight, but god, I'd like some light. This means. Is he chasing me? Whoa! Oh, it's already exposed. Please. Don't think too hard. I'm an FBI agent. So is he! and reload. <sighs> Reloading wasn't happening fast enough on that shotgun. Hear me. 
I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? Not how to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. <laughs> Are you okay? No, no! It's my fault! Alan! He got out! With my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... He's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13? <sighs> he hasn't had concept of how much time has passed. In the dark place, do you even need to eat? We don't know. But he's talking about how Mr. Scratch got out in, into the real world. I think we saw a little bit of that back in Control as well, because um, back in Control, Alice visited the FBC. And then I think there was an interview where she mentioned that, oh yeah, this, this man wearing my ex-husband's face keeps trying to haunt me. So that's Mr. Scratch, Alan's doppelganger. Although I don't know if we know too much more about him beyond that. Mm, I'm glad to see that we got Alan back. I thought, for some reason, I was under the impression that it would happen much later. Like, Saga's doing one thing, Alan's doing one thing. But I'm glad to see he's here. Maybe now we can team up and take on the Dark Presence together. 